Hello everyone, and thank you for watching this video on the installation of the Integrated Development Environment Eclipse. If you're watching this video, then you're interested in using the Deep Security APIs to automate some of the functionality in your environment. This video will walk you through installing an integrated development environment that you can use to develop and test the sample scripts available on the Deep Security Automation Center. Eclipse is free and available at www.eclipse.org or it can be found by searching for Download Eclipse. Once we find the download page, we'll open it and we'll click on the Download 64-bit link. Then we'll click Download and Save the File. This will take a few minutes to download, so I've clipped the video for brevity. Once Eclipse has been downloaded, we can run the installer to install it. You'll notice that I have an error stating that at least at Java 1.7.0 is required, and it's asking me to browse for the file. If I click No, then Eclipse automatically opens a web browser to the location that I can download the Java JDK. We'll select to download the Oracle JDK 11. Then we'll click the radio button for the Accept License Agreement and we'll select to download the JDK 11.0.2 Windows X64 bin EXE file so we can install it on this machine. Once the file has been downloaded, we'll run the file so we can install the Java JDK. When the installer starts, we'll click Next and we'll accept the defaults for the install and click Next to start the install. When the install is complete, we can close the installer and we can rerun the Eclipse install. This time, when we're prompted for the location of Java, we'll select Yes and we'll browse to the location. By default, this is in C Program Files, Java, JDK 11.0.2, bin, and we'll select the Java W file. This time the Eclipse install should start. For the purposes of using the Deep Security SDKs, we're going to install the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. We'll accept the defaults and we'll click Install. We'll be asked to accept the license agreement, so we'll click Accept Now, and after a few seconds you'll be prompted again for a different set of licenses. Click the Remember Accepted Licenses checkbox and click Accept to continue the install. The install of Eclipse will take a bit of time, so for brevity I've clipped the video. Once the install is complete, we'll click Launch to start Eclipse. When Eclipse launches, you'll be prompted for a workspace. You can accept the default if you like, but in this case, I'm going to change it to Deep Security Workspace. Once Eclipse launches, we'll just verify that the Java compiler is set correctly. To do this, we'll go to Window, Preferences, Java, and Compiler. Here, we'll verify that the level is 11, which corresponds to the Java JDK that we just installed. Eclipse is now installed and ready for you to use the Deep Security SDKs.